So I took a look at your portfolio and what I did here is I took another portfolio um, just to show you what I'm kind of looking for when you're doing the portfolio assignments. Those are three assignments that we have. Um, the big thing with the portfolio is always remember that you are doing or adding research. So you want to make sure that you're citing support for what you're putting in the portfolio. So like when we do that first one, sparks to start a war, you'll notice like with this student, here's the portfolio assignment. And you can put the assignment in the order of the questions. So here's the answer for part one, and then the answer for part two, and then the answer for part three, and so on and so forth. Now, this student actually linked to articles, and you can do this. That is totally, you know, this is the 21st century. So if you want to put links into your support, that's fine. So when he talks about, say, the assassination of the Archduke, notice that there's this link, and if you click on the link, and allow it, it takes you, and actually it took you to a different page, but it takes you to this newspaper clipping because the assignment asked you to look at a newspaper clipping. So here's the Arizona Republic's newspaper clipping of that event. Okay, and so you can put a link here. You could also put a picture. Okay, you could also put a citation so I knew where to go to find it. Okay, but the link is very useful and it's very easy to put a link in in Google. Um, so you could put a link into your support. Here's another one. Again, this is the New York Tribune. Okay, he gives an example. So again, when you click on it, he's using the Library of Congress. Here's that newspaper that he read in order to answer the question. And as you keep going down, Here's a link here came across an article check. This is a, the article about COVID. So again, when you click on this link, okay, here's the article on COVID and you can put it in as a link or, and, and it works really well, or you could put a picture in there of it and use the picture as a link, but you do want to put the links in there or the support in there. You want to include that. And then, and the very end, you need to make sure you do have a reference list. So you notice here's his references. And I'm not going to tell you these are totally perfect, but they're good. They're solid. Um, he's using APA 6, which we're now on APA 7. So you don't need the retrieved from anymore. But this is the reference page. Okay. Um, that shows you everything that all those links that he included. This is the references. This is anything else that you used, plus what you used in your paper, what you linked to in your paper or cited your paper. Now, this is an example of another student portfolio. Um, and this is a complete portfolio, like what you would have in the very end um, of your assignment. So if you scroll through this again, here's assignment one. Notice this student used footnotes, which you can do. If you know how to do footnotes, that's fine. So here's his note here, note one, that's a footnote, and here's where that footnote goes. So you can do it by footnote, okay? I, I know all the citation methods, so it doesn't really matter how you cite. The big importance is that you do use citation and that you support what you're saying. So, so this is assignment one with the footnotes, okay? And then you'll notice here's assignment two. So the student did assignment two, he answered it in order of the questions. He included footnotes. And then it's just going to keep going on. Notice that in assignment two, I ask you to put like a map in there. So he put a map of the Somme, which was a major battle on the Western um, front. Okay. And here's again, here's assignment modernity in the interwar years. There's, you're supposed to put pictures and stuff in that assignment. So you notice that there's some assignments in that one. Um, so this would be a full portfolio and I'm not going to take you through the entire portfolio, but that's how the full portfolio would look like you would chain them together. And you don't necessarily need to do that to the very end. So if you have problems with sharing your Google document or sharing your portfolio, that the easiest thing to do is just give it to me, say in PDFs, 
for each assignment and then you would give me the full one in the end and I could look at the full one. So, so hopefully this helps out. If it doesn't, well, email me either way and tell me if this was helpful or not on how it should look and what you should include in it. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Thanks.